History Program has partnered up with East End Arts Council and the Town of Riverhead to bring this rain barrel painting event. Uh, it's an awareness event to have people realize that runoff affects all of the estuary, the Pontic Estuary, the Pontic Bays, but also the Pontic River. And so what we're hoping to do is have these rain barrels placed around town and they will not only educate the public about the threats to the river and the estuary with uh, rainwater runoff, but they'll also serve the purpose of um, mitigating that runoff going into the river. So we'll be able to collect the water that's coming off of the rooftops and the other uh, parking lots and impervious surfaces around the town. And uh, then that water can be recycled and used in other ways rather than washing straight into the river um, un unfiltered and um, untreated. The Peconic Estuary Program is a partnership of all different levels of government along with citizens and scientists and business owners. Everyone who's affecting or affected by water quality in the Peconic Estuary. And the goal is to manage for water quality based on watershed boundaries rather than jurisdictional boundaries. So Cornell Cooperative Extension's Marine Program has been conducting the outreach and education for the Peconic Estuary Program. And um, all year long in this summer we've been um, out uh, talking with the public and educating citizens about the threats to the estuary. The Rain Barrel Program is an offshoot of our Homeowner Rewards Program where we encourage people to install green infrastructure practices on their private property. Rain barrels are great because they can store water, so you reduce pumpage from the aquifer, and you can reuse that water in your garden, helping it to infiltrate back into the groundwater. It's, a, it's an important educational program. Rain barrels are a great way for everyone to get involved in protecting water quality at home. It's been a great partnership with the East End Arts Council and getting kids involved in painting these rain barrels, because it's great to teach kids about protecting the environment. It's a real investment in our future because these kids will be someday protecting our estuary or making decisions at home every day that affect our estuary. So East End Arts is pleased to be collaborating with Peconic Estuary and Town of Riverhead Business Improvement District. We've invited Chris Dyer to be our artist in residence while he's here. So he's spending a few nights in our artist apartment. He's done a talk um, and showing his DVD and he did a talk in our, in our uh, one room schoolhouse talking about his history, his art. Um, so we're part of that collaboration. Hello, my name is Chris Dyer. I'm a Peruvian artist who lives in Montreal, Canada. And I'm here in Riverhead for four days to paint these boats. I did a screening of my documentary and right now we're in the middle of a kid's workshop. Kids art is kids art. Uh, there's no expectations. It's just about having fun, you know? Like no one's expecting a kid to have technical mastery. They're just there to sort of like do something fun and express themselves and try out things and if they really like it they can keep on doing it if that's what they enjoy. So it's good to have places and chances for kids to do this because many don't and that's uh, that's a big thing they could miss out on. You know, my life without art would not be the same life and I'm grateful that in school they taught me. So happy to serve in this way too. Right, right. I think that's terrific. Um, it's bringing people here, it's raising awareness. Not only is it beautifying Riverhead, and it's adding a really nice cultural impact, and like a, a nice bit of culture to Riverhead, but uh, it's also educating kids on you know, the power of art and the power of um, street art and, and what that means and the movements that it can create. And that's true with environmental art as well. And that's what I hope that we're going to be able to accomplish with the rain barrels being placed around town. One of the locations that a rain barrel was placed was at the famous Big Duck. Cornell Cooperative Extension staff and some folks from the Peconic Estuary were there tending a small rain garden as well. The Peconic Estuary program is here at the Big Duck today to maintain one of our rain gardens. It's a demonstration garden and we have native plantings to try and trap the water when it rains so it doesn't turn into stormwater runoff. Now we're also here today to install this rain barrel which we're going to put next to the building behind me. That way the rainwater can collect into the rain barrel and then this way can minimize the amount of stormwater runoff. the back, then if this barrel overflows, if there's too much rain, the rainwater can flow out the tube and down towards the rain garden.
this is actually um, a native plant garden and it's all native species to Long Island and we put it here because these plant species need very little help. They don't need extra nutrients, they don't need extra water and they'll survive very well. And as the water rains and comes down through this garden, it will be filtered. So it reduces any sort of toxins or chemicals that the rainwater gathers along the streets before it enters the Peconic Estuary. And, and isn't the Peconic Estuary like right over here? Yeah, so there's fields behind me and some woods, but then just past that is right where the Peconic River lets out into the estuary, right by Riverhead Aquarium. While you are in and around Riverhead, look for some of the works of art that are now collecting rainwater. <laughs> 